Hello and welcome to another video from the world of cattle hoof care. If you like these kind of videos then consider clicking the subscribe button and if you like this hoodie think about clicking on the merch link in the description below. In today's video I'm going to talk about the differences and the similarities between these and these. So obviously I deal with cattle feet. Everybody knows that, but I always refer to it as hoof horn. Why do I do that? A lot of people ask me, why do you call it horn? Horns are on your head. Well, actually the makeup of the material that makes horn on the foot is almost identical to the makeup of the horn that goes on your head. Well, not our head, but cow's head. So today I've got some horns from, a, it's not a deceased, from a recently dehorned cow, which was just dehorned yesterday actually, so they're nice and fresh. So they're really similar to what they would be like when they're actually on the animal's head. And obviously we've got loads and loads of footage of cattle's feet being trimmed. So we're gonna go ahead and look at what the differences in the anatomy are first. So this is horn from a cow's head all, obviously it's been cut off with cheese wire to prevent it from hurting any other animals because they, once they know that they've got horns, they tend to bully the rest and they can really hurt themselves and hurt other ones. So what are the similarities first off? Well, horns, so this part of the horn is made from keratin, 100% keratin, which is exactly what the outer wall of a hoof is made of and the base, but the outer wall horn is similar in hardness to that of horn from the head of a cow. Now, if you look at the cross section of the horn here, you can see that the internal part is bone, it's solid bone. So the blood supply goes up through the bone. That white ring on the inner side is actually the corium of the horn. So that is what actually grows the outer shell of the horn, just like the corium on a hoof grows the hoof horn. So here you have the bone, the corium and then you have the keratin sheath or the horn itself. Now this material is 100% keratin like I said before so it's exactly the same material as makes the outer wall horn of a hoof. The reason I say the outer wall horn is because this is hard stuff and so is the wall horn on a cow's foot whereas the solar horn on the base of the foot isn't anything like as hard but it is still made up of keratin. So let's go ahead and see what this baby is like to trim. So here we have a cross section of the horn. You can see this horn felt almost identical to trimming the wall horn on a cow's foot. Then it breaks through to where um, I think, well, to the equivalent of a hoof's laminae would be. This is the connective tissue which holds the outer wall horn to the inner corium which grows the horn itself. Then underneath that you can actually see the bone and you can see that the blood supply actually goes, travels all the way up through the bone right to the tip of the horn. So now you can see that we've actually de-sleeved the horn. You can see here how soft it is inside. That is the corium, so that's actually what grows or builds the horn. And you can see that is exactly as the corium within a cow's foot feels. It's exactly, it's floppy, it's slightly granular, and it's very, very soft with a good, strong blood supply. So that is identical, virtually, to the corium in a cow's foot.
when we're talking about animal feet or cow's feet specifically, the reason we refer to it as hoof horn is because the genetic makeup is almost identical to that of the horn on the cow's head. So next time you're down in the bar or in the pub and someone asks you what the difference between horn on a cow's head and a horn on a cow's foot, you can tell them there's no difference, only functionality and shape. Cheers guys and remember to subscribe and click that link for the merch. Cheers guys, bye!